<clears throat> I've had a question about fluxes. Um, what I use is the, the it's Tenacity 4A. It's just a mixture of boric acid, borax, and water. Uh, if you want to grind your own flux like we used to do in the bad old days, you can use a borax cone and a fairly rough ceramic dish. Uh, if you decide to do this, the water that you want to use is uh, distilled water. You can get it at most supermarkets. And you just put the smallest amount on your uh, ceramic dish. And then you just grind your cone in, until you have a uh, a light paste I have a little too much water here but uh, that's the idea so you can see this is kind of a milky color. That's all you need. Now, I, I would suggest you do a little test. There's also this, what they call AU flux, which is mostly for gold. Take a piece of copper and put a small drop of the flux that you want to use. So I'm putting AU flux there. And then I'm going to take some of the flux that I mixed and put it in the middle. And then I'm going to take some of the pre-mixed flux and I'll put it over here. Now the only reason that you use flux is to keep the metal clean so that the solder can penetrate the metal that you're trying to solder. So what we're going to do is just heat this up so that you can see what the flux is supposed to look like. Neutral flame. I'll zoom in so that you can see. Now, as you're heating your metal up, what will happen is it will start to oxidize and if the flux that you're using works correctly you'll end up with a nice clean patch of metal to work on. Yep, so our, the metal is oxidizing and what, what will happen is if you're trying to solder and the flux doesn't keep the metal clean, it lets it oxidize, then the solder will never flow. So you can see that all three of these are fairly clean. The commercial mixture is clean, the cleanest, but it has the most uh, residue on it. So this was designed for gold, because gold doesn't oxidize as much as silver, brass, or copper. This is the part that I mixed with the cone, so it's still fairly effective. But the pre-mixed with borax and boric acid is the best. It, it all works well up to a point. Now, if I were to keep heating this, what would happen is, this where the flux is would eventually turn black and once it turns black the flux is no longer effective you would need to stop, quench, pickle, flux it again and start again. So anytime you're working the solder hasn't flowed and the metal has completely oxidized stop and start at the beginning. Hope this is helpful.